Hi, I'm Max Calder and this is your YoMaxFitness.com product review. We're going to take a look today at this ab roller. It's been around for about 30 years. Um, every couple of years it comes back out of the closet, they dust it off, they get a new celebrity to endorse it and they give it a new name generally. But it's always been a piece of equipment that has a straight bar through the middle and a wheel in the center. Whether that's plastic or metal, um, they've sort of changed over the years and some are a little better than others. We're talking maybe 10 to 15 dollars for this piece of equipment. So we're going to take a good look at it today, demonstrate its proper use and decide whether or not we would endorse it. Pamela? Pamela's going to demonstrate a couple of different versions of how to use it properly. First from the floor, which is the most basic uh, example. And before she begins, let me just talk about her positioning. Whenever you do abdominal work, you want to make sure that your back is in flexion, like so, drawn up like this, rounded like a cat stretch, as they call it. Go, drop down into extension. Now she's extended. Her low back is arched. This is not the correct position to do an abdominal movement. I don't care whether it's a crunch or a leg raise or, in this case, the use of an ab roller. Back into flexion. From this position, her muscles are now engaged, her abdominal muscles. So from here, go ahead and give us five reps, and she'll hold this position the whole time. Excellent. Three more. And five. And pause. Good job. I'll take that for you. Now we're just going to go over here and give you another example of a way to use this and making it slightly more difficult to do because her body will now be below where her legs are. So she's creating a little bit of a greater angle and thus increasing the intensity. <clears throat> Again, extension and flexion. Boom. Now she's in flexion. These muscles are engaged and now she'll begin the movement. And just three more, Pamela. That's great. Three. Two, and one. And pause again. Excellent job. So lastly, we're going to give you an example of a really elevated position. She's going to be all the way up on this bench. Take a, take a second. Um, and this is probably about two feet we're talking here. So she's really drop, dr going to drop off quite a lot. And it takes a little more strength and experience to be able to do it from an elevated position like this. Okay. Again, flexion. You see her nice position here. She's flexed and here she goes. Nice and slow. Easy. Four. Good. Perfect. Three. It's a full extension there. It's and one more. Good job. So you see, you can actually increase difficulty quite easily by modifying the position and the height of your body in relation to where your hands are. I would have to say overall, I would recommend this product, maybe give it a three and a half on a one to five. Um, for 10 or $15, it's a, it's a decent investment and a good addition to your home gym or even if you're the club that you, you train at, you might want to suggest that they get one as well. Stop back soon for the next YoMaxFitness.com product review.